Um, well, the Xbox was announced at the Game Awards. Right. Um, so we got to see some announcements. Uh, there was Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. What do you think of that trailer? That was like the first next-gen trailer we've seen so far. Uh... God, I can I can hardly remember. I remember the screaming that made me think of that Gears trailer with the Billie Eilish song. Uh, oh, that was a cool trailer. I remember that. Uh, but no, I don't I don't really remember too much. I remember they were showing. I think we were conflicted over. Oh, this is the one I was calling bullshit on, because they were like, "This is all in game." I don't think it is either, either. I call so much bullshit. I think it's a mixture, and I think yeah. Uh, I'm gonna boot up the trailer. Here. It'd, it'd be nice to know what is and what isn't. Um, like I would imagine that's just a CG part of it. That's a trailer. That's I intro. mean, they can do that. Like you've seen, like river physics be super good nowadays, uh, or water physics for oceans and stuff. Like Battle to the Old, I think it was four or five really fucking nailed uh, oceans like that, and even like uh, not Saints Row, but uh, the pirate game. Uh, oh, Xbox is a pirate game. Yeah, what's it called? Sea of Thieves. Thieves. Like, that that nails the water, so you can do that, but... The song is super cool. (laughs) Yeah, I don't... This Some of this stuff could be with the lighting engine, with, like, Last of Us 2 lighting engine. I feel like this is doable. Right. Even this, maybe. There are certain post-processing effects that look a little... Sometimes their motion capture looks too detailed to be CG, or to be in-game. Yeah. I very much agree. So yeah, I I don't believe it, but it was pretty cool. Like that guy was real. That flame is probably fine. But yeah, I mean, big deal for fans of that game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know people. I do love like it. with that's why I played. I wanted to get back into the the original Hellblade because her character is not like this at all. She's not. Um, confident or like bombastic is the, the the name i think of or the term i think of where she's she's performing she's like confident she's angry she's not really like that in the original game she's kind of dealing with some shit so here she's just like she's energized she's into whatever she's doing whatever thing she's that ready. is yeah and she doesn't do that at all in the uh, first game so there's got to be some kind of you know progression or i like that it's somewhat of a change or that she's growing as a character but yeah i just noticed that as a different um side to that first game but that's yeah, I'm cool. aboard. It looks dope. Yeah. I don't know how much of it's going to be in game stuff, but yeah. Yeah, I call I call so much bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a mixture of that and bullshit and, and real stuff, but Mortal Kombat 11 DLC character. I didn't hear this was... that was announced there. Apparently the Maybe it was pre-show. Up. Oh, the Joker. Yeah, he looks uh he looks weird. He looks kind of like uh the Last Injustice is Joker. Um, gotcha. Or it's sort of this yeah, this sort of Oh, well, I didn't see him in motion. He looks okay in motion. Wait, this is Mortal Kombat? Yeah, MK11. I is like his voice. Out? Is he voiced by Mark Hamill again? That, that may be Mark Hamill. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going uh, into that Senior Sacrifice uh, song that she was just rub, rub, rub. <laughs> yeah, I'm just super stuffed up. <laughs> uh, yeah, that may have been Mark Hamill. That or, uh, what's his name? Who's uh, Handsome Mechanic? Uh, he plays Joel. Oh, yeah, Troy Baker. Yeah. Troy Baker, yeah, he can do it pretty good. I think he's done, yeah, yeah. on a couple games. Uh, I didn't hear that announcement when we were watching it, but that happened. Also, Amazon's new game, so they have a dev studio that's been in the works for a while. So a new game from Amazon Game Studios, formerly known as Double Helix Games. Oh, yeah, the MMO. Gotcha. I don't remember this, but it's called New World. Apparently, that's, that's Yeah, I, I kind of remember it a little bit, but also I don't. <laughs> right. There's just a lot going on, apparently. But. Bravely Default 2. That was a surprise. That was definitely a surprise. Yeah. Also, wait, doesn't Bravely Default... Oh, it's called Bravely Second? Yeah, that, I didn't realize this. Uh, th- there was some drama with this. So apparently, um, the second one, the second Bravely Default is called Bravely Second End Layer. And yeah. so this is technically, what, the third Bravely Default game? I don't know. It's Squeenix. Like, you can't... <laughs> yeah, their names usually kind of go out there. And, yeah. Yeah. But uh, some of these facts I pulled from GameSpot, uh, their their breakdown of the event, too. Mm-hmm. But uh, So we have Ghost of Tsushima. That was finally shown off with gameplay, or at least the the, tra- the release date was given out. It yeah, was I don't remember any gameplay. Really? Uh, we can pull that up. So it's, um, I remember the, the cool, like, shh, shh, you know, they're getting ready to fight, and I thought that was all CG. Maybe I, maybe I just misremembered. We were drinking pretty heavily during this award <laughs> show. At least I was. Uh, yes, uh, we, we both were good. Uh... So yeah, I know this intro that was part of the the PlayStation State of Play, and then they go into when that ninja dude shows up God, to just fuck up everyone. Stupid, pretty, just pretty. 
Like and it's not it's not undoable. Like it's very doable, but mm-hmm. the stylization on this is just fuck off, pretty. And we got a summer twenty twenty uh release window. Oh, sure. That seems fair. Oh yeah, this is when he gets hit by the yep. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what that first arrow doable, second one. <laughs> Woo. Tickles. This to me is still doable. I just played um just played Days Gone, and there's a lot of foliage that's highly detailed moving around with the yeah. wind, so I feel like it's still something that's they could achieve. Well, and they can use some tricks with instancing oh. to um, just render just a shit ton of stuff like that. Gotcha. Uh, I can't really explain how it works, but I, I know it's It's called very instancing? Dope. Yeah, it's... If I remember correctly, like, let's say uh, they, they did that trick when uh, one of the first big games, to my knowledge to do it, was Gears of War 2? Um, where they're rendering like an army of thousands of oh, okay. uh, of bad guys uh, swarming around and instancing, and it's a big thing like in FIFA games. That's how you can have a full three D crowd. Gotcha. Um, it's uh, it, it normally when you're telling the graphics card to draw something, you're like, "All right, go draw this." Okay, go draw this, and this you just give it a huge fucking list of one model. And you say, all right, draw all of these, mm. and I'm going to go off and do some stuff. So your graphics gotcha. start, you just give it a big old chore list. and uh, Can it change each model, or it has to be like the same? I think so. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can, because okay. in Gears, they, they're all animating independently. Gotcha. So I think that's how you get that. That's it's still cool. tough, because you've got to do a lot of the physics. So um, they got to be somewhat limited in as far as like the detail and stuff, because you're producing so much. Out there. I don't know. Hmm. I, I've... Historically, they've done it very high detailed, so I don't. I'm not too worried about it. That's the thing. Like graphics cards are just so fast. Yeah. Like some of the big slowdown with them is not the graphics card's fault. Okay, so we didn't get gameplay. We do get gameplay. Yeah, there's kind of a a faster highlight reel at the end of this too, where they comprise a bunch of gameplay. Man, everyone loves a reveal of a live orchestra. Oh, yeah. Like you can't. Oh yeah, this guy. He's playing the bamboo or whatever. <laughs> I like that hair. He's, he's got some hair on him. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful game. I cannot wait for this. Yeah. They work super hard on that art style. And I imagine. they have nailed it. And with a game like this, with a team, I I just presume, presume it's a bunch of white dudes. So for them to tackle this Japanese historical, like, real fucking uh, time... They have to make sure it's absolutely accurate, and they're absolutely like taking it seriously and that's, talking to the right people. Like they can't fuck it. Up. Again? That's the guy. This is Sucker Punch. Yeah, and they're just over in Seattle. Yeah. So that's uh. So they yeah. got coffee. They got you know rolled up jeans. They got boots yeah. on, and they're making this. So they have to make sure they're talking to the right people. Yeah, or I think they're actually south of Seattle, but still, still count. Yeah. What else we got? Again, Gears Tactics. Uh, we saw some gameplay of this. Apparently, it's the first good. time they showed off gameplay. Are you interested at all in the tactics style of games? Where's that? No. Yeah. Is it RTS? I guess is the term for it. Uh, well, this is uh, this is a turn-based tactics. Yeah. Gotcha. But I, I think for it looks like kind of like an XCOM. So for people who like XCOM, yeah, and like Gears, perfect. Yeah. Give us a bloody bloody XCOM. Uh, there was also Sons of the Forest. That was a kind of a tricky trailer. We're not sure what was yeah. going to happen until they showed it off. But uh, that was based on that forest uh, survival horror game. Right. Um, that was pretty neat. Those games look terrifying. Yeah. Not for me, but uh, <laughs> more power to you if you want to play those. Riot Forge. So that's the the dev. They yeah. had two games they released. Uh, Rune King League of Legends story. Um, let's see. And also, second game is Convergence. Um, you're, you're kind of you're into, you dabble in the, the League of Legends games, right? What was Convergence? So the second game is Convergence, a League of Legends story, which is an action platform that allows you to manipulate time. I think it it's, takes. Oh, you must be playing from... Echo. Gotcha. I think yeah, we saw footage. I want to say or something, but uh... yeah, I don't remember that. I'm more excited about. Uh, so it says a Ruin King. Uh, I think that one's set in Bilgewater. Uh, Bilgewater has some cool lore, some really cool characters. It has Gangplank, who's kind of okay. Uh, it has Misfortune, who's kind of like her character design is absolutely hilarious but mm. uh you know she's she's cool she's uh is she the pirate hunter she may be the pirate hunter who's also kind of a pirate um huh. shit who's the pirate hunter um but yeah there's really cool characters it, on that particular aisle so that yeah. that brings in some really uh unique 
cool stories to tell from some of the coolest characters in the game. Yeah. And I guess it's an RPG, so. Yeah, I like the idea of them taking the different characters and doing different types of games based on those characters, not just has to yeah. be that same kind of uh, League of Legends gameplay. Oh, yeah. There's so many different, wildly varying. I mean, that's one of their goal for that game when they make these characters is they're trying to make a character for, like, what it, you go into it and, like, you have a specific play style in mind. There's someone already there for you. Gotcha. So they've got so much. Or you're in a particular mood, they got a character right, for you. Right, you can switch it up and, yeah, change yeah. something else. Uh, we have Weird West, Weird West, which was announced. That's a new studio from uh, what the Prey Studios and who did a Dishonor too. Yep. So Weird West is a top-down Weird West. I feel like I'm going to keep mispronouncing that. Um, <laughs> Weed West. Weed <laughs> West. West. Weed West. Desperado. Rough Rider. No, you don't want none of. <laughs> oh shit, Gavin. Trapping some. Gun in this, brother. Running this. <laughs> And go a little bit further, but I think I've forgotten. <laughs> See, some I remember of it. Eugene Levy's name. You remember that that <laughs> that rap right there? I used to, yeah. We used to know a bunch of it because we always joked uh, back at Digipen that we were going to end like one of our games. Uh, uh, it was called Ascendance, and the whole thing was like uh, you were using a grappling hook gun uh, to get to the top of this very uh, high like tower thingy. Mm-hmm. And uh, the joke is like, well, what do you do when you get up there? Well, you pee off the top and then we're just going to have wild, wild west play you out. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <Great idea. laughs> Which I stole that storyline and made it into my first indie game. Uh, well, second, I guess technically, but I don't really count Astro champion, mm-hmm. but uh, a man's quest. That's the whole plot of the game is you're climbing this tower to pee off of it. <laughs> Credits roll sun in the background. It's just a silhouette. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, oh, you could control the P stream. It was great. What? <laughs> yeah. It's a realistic P physics, uh, how it's yeah. flowing through the world. Nice. Well, <laughs> we can't play that yet. But, this, uh, this looks so cool, though. And it's one of those ones I know when the those guys left the studio, they left because it said, you know, we're not getting to make the kind of games we want to make. And in mm-hmm. my head, I'm like, you're making some crazy fucking badass games, yeah. and those aren't what you want to make. This looks way different. I think we discussed. It looks like. Fallout set in the Wild West, but instead of, you know, right. dealing with Fallout, you're dealing with magic. Yeah, there's a heavy magic uh, component to it and a lot of weird characters. And yeah, yeah. so the the new dev studio is called Wolf Eye. And yeah, so they're making Weird West. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Looks great. So that goes. Wolf Among Us 2 was shown off as far as that it's still in development. So it's taken over by some other uh, devs here that came from Telltale. Um, so one of Telltale's long dormant franchises coming back. Former vets from the studio have partnered with Ad Hoc Studio to continue and co-develop on the second season of Wolf Among Us. Ad Hoc is a team built in part by former Telltale employees working alongside the new Telltale ownership. So that's cool that that thing, that thing still exists. It's cool they got hired back. It's it's interesting that they liked, you know, it says with the new Telltale ownership, mm-hmm. it's kind of crazy that, because they all got fired very suddenly. So the fact that yeah. they're willing to come back, like th- it must have not been a shitty job. Right. I would, yeah, I would hope so. Um, <laughs> or did they, when they arranged this new team, whoever was at the top was enough of a change that everyone else decided, yeah. okay, we'll jump back on. Um, yeah, my boss fired me right now. <laughs> and yeah. two days from now, I was like, you know what? Come back. He's like, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> but I'll see you Monday. I'll see you, <laughs> yeah, I'll see you Monday. <laughs> I need that check. I'll see you. <laughs> Um, this one was pretty cool. So Warframe yeah. showed off some ship combat. They just keep just you know mining that franchise and growing it. It's like a legit franchise on its own. Uh, yeah. It's pretty dope. So it's like the ship to ship combat. That 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 fan base has more support than probably in like the quality of the stuff they put out too is right. just so impressive. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know how anyone plays that game though. It moves at a thousand miles an hour. I've seen just people like rolling around and I go, whoa, okay, there's a lot going right. on here, and that's just one part of it and yeah it's nuts so we got to see godfall which is the what the second i don't know confirmed um next gen game we've seen as oh, far yeah. as like, gameplay goes um this is from gearbox software that was at least in game there yeah, was I think no was. doubt in my mind i wasn't more on the fence but as i looked at uh, footage over the weekend just kind of watched through it again it did look achievable for sure on like uh, PC stuff now. And I think um, you could do it on current gen. It doesn't look could. that out there. It would maybe wouldn't be as high of a frame rate or, or as reflect sure. as it, as it was in that trailer, but it's, it's doable. Yeah. I was just more on a, drinking that hate raid as you do. Um, I was on that same boat, but um, yeah, it's doable yeah. and it's cool. 
No, this is from Gearbox. So they they have been advertising this as a looter slasher. I know that turned you off when you when you no no no, no no okay. I liked because uh, that's kind of what uh, Dark Siders two was. Okay. Uh, and it was fun, albeit there was a little bit too much loot. Gotcha. Uh, that's kind of what shoot. Uh, Shadow Assess Shadow. Shadow of Mordor? Or? No, it was. Uh, it was kind of like a Duke Nukem. Oh, Shadow Warrior. Yeah, yeah. it was Shadow Warrior. Shadow Warrior was kind of that, but also had too much loot. Gotcha. So I think those games are fun. Totally gotcha. down. Nice. Hope it's good. Yeah, me too. We got to see um, a very short glimpse, probably CG, right, of a PUBG creator's uh, new game. So No here. guns. No, no guns in that game. Well, they said as, it. Really? Yeah. Whoa, I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah. Dang. So what the fuck are you going to do? You just I don't know. The or something? Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be so amazing. And they said that uh, how well this game does and what, what how the community reacts to it is going to inform decisions on PUBG. And I'm like, what the fuck? Huh. But they're not interesting. Interesting. And I don't think they're in the same universe either. I think they're two different users, if I remember correctly, of the details that have leaked. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, I mean, they just showed off that just some shrubbery and stuff and yeah. it's basically like i think there's like the bre- heavy breathing of whatever character and like that's it in the credits roll but it could uh, be a squirrel for all you know <laughs> yeah. you could be a squirrel i wouldn't even be mad at yeah. it probably... or you're a leaf in the background just you know, like <laughs> replace PUBG with uh the well conquer? just replace the humans with... yeah oh <laughs> oh no, you, go. you can't take out the guns with conquer though oh uh, damn you gotta be peeing on people slapping them. <laughs> <laughs> do you think the no guns thing so is this maybe more melee focused then and it's just See, like grittier up close kind of stuff. We still at this point have no indication that there's even combat. Gotcha. So that's that's crazy. I find it it would be nuts if he was like, hey, this is going to help our decisions with PUBG, but there's no combat or no like. Right. You know what I mean? Like there's got to be something that is a thorough line that like connects these or this gameplay wise, something similar. I'd be curious to see, and this is this is my theory, is I think player unknown, like he hit it so bad. He was really seen as an innovator mm-hmm. when he created this genre with with some of these and technically, yeah, there was stuff like in Minecraft and other stuff beforehand that sort of did it. But like he really blew it up with Arma, then he blew it up with Daisy, he blew it up with well, I think Player Unknown was next. There may have been yeah. another one in there. Um, so I think, you know, he sees this guy that innovates, I think he's gonna want to innovate again. So that's my prediction, he's trying to do something new that's never been done before. <laughs> Probably ripped off from a movie again, sure. but that's fine. Let's let's do the Matrix. Let's do uh, a lot of living games, though, with they, myself. They tend to follow on some kind of combat motif, right? Though, so would this be? Would it be insane to uh, imagine this is still going to be somewhat either titled or tied to melee, if not gunplay? But that's a lot of his games have that kind of connection right so there's yeah. something like that i mean he's kind of just made the same game like three or four times right so, so like, this is a very weird departure but right <laughs> maybe it is, it's a time for departure because he's just right. kind of burnt out and that kind of stuff i'm i'm just predicting at least higher player counts like i i think that's really? i think he's enjoyed that high player count that's my prediction based on nothing mm. absolutely yeah we're just in the weeds we're nothing. just theorizing yeah here. gotcha that was that kind of rounds out a lot of the stuff for uh um for the video game awards, you know what wasn't there and was kind of rumored to be more have more of a presence presence was Nintendo. They weren't really there showing no. anything off. They had um, Bowser, Doug Bowser, or whatever. Uh, he was there, yeah. but uh, just kind of giving award. But it was yeah. cool that they they had uh, a you know they did a proper reveal of a game that I've already forgotten what it is. Nintendo. Oh wait, uh, Bravely Default. You're right. Yeah, that was probably Bravely the only Default. Nintendo yeah. presence. Yeah, yeah which is not right. technically them. Wait, maybe it is technically them. I don't know. No, but there's uh, like rumors that they're going to show off a Smash character. I think it's because just like the last one they did that. Oh, did uh, they? So I'm kind of surprised they didn't. Like, what a yeah. good. Uh, and I think it's been. Well, we already know who's next, unless he's already out. And who's the one King idiot. of Fighters guy? Yeah, Terry or whatever. Barry, Jerry. It's a very generic name. His name's yeah. gonna be Steve. <laughs> uh, Terry Bogart. There we go. Mm. Um. Yeah, that was a little bit surprising. Yeah, altogether, how were your feelings of the show as a whole? I thought it was fine. I thought uh, if we didn't have the Xbox thing there, it might have been. I might have been more negative. But yeah. we got to see. Uh, we got to see the Senua stuff, which was really cool. We got to see some. I was maybe more excited for the next gen component right. to it. Everything else they showed off really didn't um, blow me away. But um, I still like that this stuff exists. It's fun for for me the idea of us get together and just watch again shooting the shit yeah, and making right. fun of what's going fun. on by like being surprised at stuff that happens but really the thing that made it for me was the Xbox sex being there other than that sure you know. and I think and that was we kind of came away from it different and you're probably tired of my negativity by the end but <laughs> no, like right. 
I was I was very disappointed, and it's because he set the bar so high. The last two years of the mm. game show game awards have been some of the best events of the year. And this was very cringy, very cross promotional. Like when the guy from uh, what Westworld came up, and you're like, "Yeah, he, that's how they started off the show too." Ooh, was the first guy. ooh, and then they ended. They ended with the Need for Speed yeah. game, which no, I didn't. Uh, Fast and Furious, yeah. I didn't or Fast and Furious. I didn't even realize they ended with that until I was in, like looking at M Gear the next day in comment sections. Like <laughs> seriously. They ended with that was this. It, yeah, they rolled credits after that. And yeah, like was... those two up there were so uncomfortable for the yeah. for the need for speed. That was just so cringy. And I don't remember the game. Can we watch that trailer? Yeah, was yeah, it that, like yeah, 20 minutes forgot. long? No, we're going to. Yeah, I, I don't remember being impressed. No, it looked like a Xbox 360 game. Um, and I guess this is the first like sanction fest. No, this is not the first game uh, by a mile. So oh, there's no way. Long. This is going to be on the. Oh God! Already, some of the screens are uh, <sighs> great. So come on, let's get some. I'm, not, I'm in the wrong. And th- and this is next gen, right? I think it's cur- current gen. If that was next gen, I'd say to go fuck yourself. If that based on that trailer, I mean, it could. I mean, that's the tricky thing because like reflections, like there's such good reflection text specifically for car games out like there, like. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's almost hard to tell between the the real time reflections or the not real time but uh, the ray traced reflections and just these crazy shader libraries that people build up for these years. Okay. So it may. So this is at least at the moment it's PC, PS4, and Xbox One in May 2020. Okay, so this is current uh, gen. So and this is looks like a game from the ground up that they've developed. Why not give this this property over to like uh, the guys that do Forza? And just say, hey, add a story component. You guys can go nuts. Who's it made by? I don't know. I'm not seeing any info on the on the devs. It may still be Vin Diesel's studio. Oh, I right. I thought he studio. I yeah. thought he lost the studio. This game it's graphics wise looks like a really good uh, Tony Hawk Underground. <laughs> Whoa, you're totally right. That's, <laughs> like that's bad. Yeah, that's that's ooh. not that's not a good thing. Like, was Vin Diesel a custom made character, and that's why he looks so shitty? <laughs> Or like it's a Switch game or something. Like yeah. if this is a Switch game, I'd be like, okay, this is looks fine. If this is a Switch game, <laughs> just something about the yeah. Like, well, it's the models and the, it really makes me think of Underground, Tony Hawk Underground. Yeah, like the animations, especially the characters. Like Grand Theft Auto looks twice as good as this. It does. Yeah. So check out the flag in the background. It just for some reason that <laughs> flag disturbs me with how shittily it's it's flat. Oh yeah. It. No, you're right. <laughs> At first I was like, You crazy and then I saw it again, like, No, no, you're not. I mean the How you gonna fuck up a flag? The meat of the game is the racing. So the, yes. so far the racing looks like it's fun enough. So I feel like that's where they will succeed and it's just as long as they supply the racing and it's fun, yeah. it's arcadey, that's all they gotta do. I think uh It's almost like a mobile game. Oof. So okay, slightly <laughs> mad studios. Oh, okay, and so I that's not that's not his Empire. studio anymore unless he made a new one. That sounds like Vin Diesel named that though. <laughs> that sounds like, like he that's maybe. his name. But, but yeah, um, that's not his his old one was it had the weird squid sun thingy. Oh, I, that sounds familiar. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Because they made Butcher Bay. Oh, you're right. Uh, you're they made right, whatever right, that right. terrible like driver game or not driver. Maybe it was driver. Oh, where he was like cancel, where he was jumping from car to car, like he was, and then and then commandeering the cars. Was he? Yeah, that, they, there was like this footage they showed off, but it never realized into like a thing. Like it was dropped. Uh, it was, I think it was just called Driver or the Driver. I think. Yeah, apparently I didn't realize that. Okay, so that rounded out the the game awards.